Hi there, uh, welcome to the uh, another uh, exciting uh, session on computer and communication network and uh, in today's session we are going to talk about the different types of uh, network services. Okay, uh, so before uh, we actually uh, uh, get into the agenda of today's session, uh, let me give you an uh, recap of uh, what we have done in our previous session. In the previous session, we, do we saw the different types of network. Uh, uh, we basically saw what a local area network was, then uh, we focused our attention to the uh, metropolitan area network, then we saw what wide area network was and finally we uh, wound up the session uh, by giving an input on what is an personal area network. So in today's session, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the different types of uh, network services. So know that uh, there are two types of uh, network services, uh, what we call them as uh, connection oriented service and a connection less service. So these two network services are uh, very important as far as uh, computer networks are concerned because you will be dealing with uh, two major protocols, uh, what we call as an TCP protocol, uh, the transmission control protocol and the user datagram protocol. Now. Uh, as I told you, there are uh, two types of uh, network services. Uh, one is called uh, the uh, connection oriented service or the TCP. Now, uh, the name itself indicates uh, what do you mean by oriented? Uh, the entire uh, uh, network service depends upon an proper connection. That is a connection uh, has to be established uh, before the uh, data is transmitted. Uh, that is the meaning of uh, connection oriented and uh, just opposite to that as uh, connectionless, a connection is not established uh, prior to sending data. Now uh, this could sound uh, little confusing at this point of time uh, to understand this better have a look at these two pictures what I have shown here. Now there are two computers here A and B. Now if A wants to communicate with B, a connection has to be established between A and B. Uh, this kind of uh, service is called as an connection oriented service and this is actually achieved uh, using a protocol called TCP. Uh, remember I have told you about uh, protocols in my earlier sessions. Uh, protocols are nothing but some rules and regulations to be followed. Now in connection uh, less service, uh, if two systems has to communicate with each other, uh, a connection need not be established between the two systems. So what exactly is the meaning of this and uh, how the connection is established and how the data is transmitted uh, between two systems, uh, we will just see that in a few minutes from now. Now uh, there are three uh, steps involved in uh, connection oriented service, now, what we call them as an uh, three way handshake, you will learn about that uh, three way handshake now. Uh, the step one is uh, connection establishment, uh, step two is uh, data transfer and uh, step three is connection termination. Uh, it is also called as disconnection. It's very similar to you know making a call to somebody. For example, you pick up your mobile number and call up somebody. Now what happens when you call, uh, the other person will basically uh, receive a ringing tone. Now he is going to accept the call, you say hello and he says hello. So then uh, both of you know that the connection has been established and you do the data transfer. Now what do you mean by data transfer here? Uh, both of you are actually speaking and once you are done with it, then you either he can wind up the call or you can wind up the call. That is as simple as it is and we call this as connection termination. So this kind of uh, service is called as an connection oriented service which basically involves three steps. Step one is connection establishment, uh, step two is your data transfer and step three is your connection termination. Okay, now uh, we shall uh, look into how exactly this uh, connection oriented surveys work and uh, uh, how exactly the uh, two computers connect with each other using an TCP protocol. Remember that uh, TCP is an acronym for uh, transmission control protocol and this helps you in giving current connection oriented service. Now uh, in this picture we have shown you two computers, you have a computer A and computer B, they want both want to communicate with uh, each other. Now, when they want to communicate with each other, uh, it could be either uh, sending an email or, uh, or sending a message or it could be even simply browsing an website. 
So, in that case, uh, A wants to send a message. I have taken one uh, simple example here. Now, this message uh, has to be transferred from A to B. Now, uh, before transmitting the message, what happens that uh, the connection has to be established between A and B. So, you just cannot uh, send a message directly like that because uh, it is going to occupy a lot of space so in the end the channel or it is going to occupy a lot of bandwidth in the channel. So, uh, in that context what we are going to do is we are going to uh, break down the messages into number of uh, uh, small 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 segments called as a packet. So, this message uh, you can see here is broken down into small uh, uh, segments called as packet and you can see that. Uh, each packet is uh, given a unique number, the packet numbers are starting from 5, so that is called as an ISN, ISN stands for initial sequence number, then uh, the packet numbers are getting incremented by 1, that is 5, 6 and 7 and it goes on. So now uh, computer A would want to communicate with computer B and say that, uh, hey look I am going to send you a message and my uh, message would have packets and my packets uh, would start from uh, serial number 5. So that uh, uh, message will be carried in the SYN, SYN stands for uh, synchronization and this also contains uh, port information. So, what is this port information? Uh, port information is nothing but the end point of communication so that the B will know what kind of uh, message is coming so that it will activate that particular port to accept this particular message. So, you can see down there are uh, various uh, port numbers in the description. For example, uh, when you are browsing the uh, internet, uh, you are using HTTP uh, uh, connection. So, if you, are, if you are browsing the internet, it is going to be port number 80 or if you are using an SQL server, it is going to be port number 156 or if you are browsing an secured connection, for example, you are uh, doing internet banking, then it is going to be uh, port number 443. So, uh, depending upon what kind of uh, message this uh, A is sending to B, it is going to send the details in terms of the uh, sequence numbers of the packets and the port number to B. Now, what the B will do, uh, B is going to immediately uh, send an acknowledgement to uh, A stating that, okay, I accept your uh, uh, synchronization message and it also says that, look, if I want to communicate to you, then uh, my message uh, would also be broken down into uh, packets and uh, the uh, sequence number would be from 100 and increments of 1, that is 100, 101, 102 and so on. So, now this acknowledgement and uh, the synchronization message from B uh, will reach A. Now, what A has to do? A has to acknowledge uh, the synchronization message of B. So, it is going to send an acknowledgement message to B. So, now what happens? Now, in this context, what happens? Both A and B have agreed on to certain terms. So, now they can start communicating with each other. So, this is also called as an three-way handshake because first handshake is sending the uh, sync message from uh, uh, A to B and the second handshake would be sending the acknowledgement of the sync message sent by A and the sync message of the B itself and the third handshake would be the uh, acknowledgement message of uh, acknowledgement message for the synchronization message of uh, uh, B being sent by A to B. So, this is how your entire uh, uh, three-way handshakes work and uh, this uh, TCP is, uh, is a connection oriented uh, service and it is called as a reliable service. Now, this is very important. What do you mean by reliable service is the uh, packets arrive in a sequence. That means, if I am sending the packets like 5, 6, 7, uh, they also arrive in B as 5, 6, 7 only. So, it arrives in a sequence. So, that means the packets are not uh, uh, misplaced or the packets are not mismanaged, which means that the exact data from A arrives at B. Now, uh, once the connection is established between A and B, uh, we say that a full uh, duplex conversation is established, which means that uh, both A and B can uh, send and receive data at the same time. Now, this is one of the main important uh, aspects of connection oriented service. So, whenever you are talking of uh, internet banking where you require reliable data service or whenever you are using air ticket reservation or the train ticket reservation, you basically go for connection oriented service. So, TCP is a protocol for connected orient oriented service.
I have once again uh, given you the uh, picture of some port numbers which are important which we normally use. So you have port number 80 which is used for a HTTP connection that has a hypertext uh, transfer protocol connection. Uh, if you are using SQL server services then the port number would be 156. Uh, if you are using SNMP that is uh, uh, simple network management protocol services then the port number would be 161 and if you are using an secured website service then it is 443. So these are some of the uh, port numbers uh, which are generally used but there are so many other uh, TCP port numbers it depends upon uh, what kind of uh, services you are basically using in B and how that B is actually activating those services. Okay, now that you have uh, understood uh, how the connection is set up between uh, two computers. Now once the connection is set up, the data is transmitted and after the entire data is transmitted, uh, now let us assume that uh, both these computers A and B have uh, finished communication. Now once they finish communication, uh, what is it to do with the connection? Now they have, uh, they want to basically tear down the connection or disconnect. So normally either side can go ahead and initiate a termination, either A can initiate a termination or B can initiate a termination. So in this case A is initiating a termination because it is sending a FIN message. FIN stands for finish which means that A is telling B, uh, look all my data is being sent to you, I don't want to have any more connection with you. Now what B immediately does, it sends an acknowledgement. Uh, to A stating that okay I acknowledge uh, that uh, you are not going to send me any more data and uh, B also uh, sends an uh, finish uh, message to A and A will acknowledge the receipt of the finish message. Now before tearing down the connection what B will basically do is it will uh, uh, talk to the port and it will close the port which it had opened during the connection establishment. So this is how the uh, TCP connection is terminated. Okay, now uh, I am going to put all the things uh, together in a proper pers perspective in a connection oriented service. You have three steps. One is called the connection establishment, the second one is called as the data transfer and third one is called as the connection termination. So here you can see the connection establishment uh, in picture one, uh, it is a way of three way handshake. Then once the connection is established, the data is transferred, where the data is transferred from uh, computer A, A to computer B, you, you just uh, remember that uh, in the connection establishment would have opened the port, so that the port would basically receive the data from A to B. And once uh, uh, A has completely sent data to B, or PC1 has completely sent data to PC2, the PC1 or A will send an finish message and PC2 will send an acknowledgement uh, message. Uh, stating that uh, uh, I acknowledge that uh, you have stopped sending me the data and uh, PC2 will also send the finished message to PC1 and PC1 will acknowledge the message sent by PC2. So this is how uh, your connection oriented services uh, works. It basically consists of three steps. The first one is the connection establishment, the second one is the data transfer and the third one is the connection termination. Now we shall see what is an uh, connection uh, less service. Now as I told you earlier in connection less service uh, this does not require connection establishment. So there is no prior connection established between the sender and the receiver and uh, the data need not arrive in a specific order. For example here uh, you have two computers here A and B communicating with each other. Now A has to send a message to B and you know that the messages would be broken down into packets. So here in a connection less service we are using a uh, protocol called UDP. Now UDP stands for user datagram protocol. Uh, this packets 5, 6, 7 are also called as datagrams and uh, these datagrams arrive at the destination at B and they need not be in sequence. So you can see the arrival of packet would be in this fashion 7, 5 and 6 and uh, in this case what happens that the data is not arriving in sequence. So we say that uh, the uh, kind of a service is unreliable but uh, before the actual uh, message is reconstructed the data grams are arranged properly so that the original message is got. So you cannot use uh, connectionless service for reliable data transfer services like uh, uh, internet banking or air ticket reservation etc. So connectionless service has got uh, its own applications. So I am just trying to now give you a comparison uh, matrix 
of uh, what is connection oriented and connectionless service. In connection oriented surveys, we uh, make use of a transmission control protocol and in connectionless surveys, we make use of an user datagram protocol. Connection oriented surveys as a three way handshake, we saw this, it has got a sync message, an ACK message and a FIN message that is synchronization, acknowledgement and finish messages. In connectionless surveys, you have a no handshake. In connection oriented surveys, data arrive, arrives in a proper sequence, that's why it's called as a reliable data service, whereas in connectionless surveys, the data does not appear in a proper sequence, so it is called as an unreliable data service. So, we are internet banking, trying reservations, etc. make use of connection oriented service and media streaming and online uh, gaming makes use of connectionless service. So, I hope this, uh, these two points are uh, clear to you, you have understood what is an uh, connection oriented service and a connection less service. So, thank you for being with me, I will see you in the next session with uh, uh, one more uh, interesting and exciting uh, chapter on uh, communication and computer networks. Till then, take care, bye bye.